Hi guys, welcome to another past and present squad builder which I haven't talked about with you guys because I just did it spur of the moment, spur of the moment, spur of the moment, spurs. So today guys we're doing a past and present spurs team and I won't lie to you, it's not so much past because EA don't really have any icons for spurs. So we've had to try our best to make an amazing team. I think we've built a 10 out of 10 team. Um, but there's people crying in my chat, guys. So I have nothing I can do about it. Um, and like I said, guys, Tottenham Hotspur is the team. Berbatov, nowhere to be seen in FIFA. Klinsman, nowhere to be seen in FIFA. And uh, defence was a, bit, a little bit of an issue as well. But let's get into it and show you the team. So guys, we have starting on the bench and reserves. We've got Gary Lineker. Yes, he infam infamously took a dump on the football pitch. And then went on to be one of the best British broadcasters of football in the world. So, there's Gary Lineker. And he played for Barcelona as well. Clint Dempsey making a, a, a hero captain's return in FIFA this year. Undombel, Undombele, um, mixed, mixed player. Loads of hype. Didn't really do anything at Spurs, apart from have Mourinho cry at him on Amazon. Um, we've got Aurier, who's now at Villarreal. Jermaine Defoe with a flashback card insane. Lamella, Kevin Prince Boateng, Foyf. Sizoko, who is at Watford. Watford got relegated from the Premier League. Um, Tarapt, he's now at Benfica. He had an appearance. We've also got Janola and then Fazio as well. And for the smart guys in the, in the stream, guys, they pointed out Rebrov, ex Spurs player, now a manager um, out in the uh, Saudi League, I believe. So that is the bench and reserves. So you're thinking, Bits, and how can that get better? Well, let me show you the starting 11. In net, we have got. Not Musa Sizoko. We have got a goalkeeper, which is Hugo Lloris. We keep it, guys. Three current players who have played for Spurs or playing for Spurs. The first one is Hugo Lloris. In the defence, guys, on the right-hand side, we're going to use a right-back um, who now plays for Man City. He's got a road to the final card, but they're not in the final. So we've got Kyle Walker. Who's, uh, who's going to go there. 91 rated. And on the left-hand side, we have a Belgium centre-back um, who is now... I don't even know where, where exactly he's playing. Where's Belgium? Guys, where is Belgium? Am I drunk here? Where's Belgium at? Why is Belgium at the bottom? Right. Vertonghen. There is a centre-back and a right-back. We'll come back to the defence later on, guys. Okay. Um, so we've got Vertonghen. We've got Kyle Walker. We're now going to move up into the midfield. In the right mid position, in the centre midfield spot, this guy plays everywhere and played everywhere for Spurs, including left back, scoring an infamous goal um, against Inter Milan in the Champions League. And it is going to be Gareth Mudder Trucking Bale, who you guys can't see there, but Gareth Bale is going to play as our right mid. Um, so that is Gareth Bale. Fantastic. Who does he link with, guys? Current. One of the best footballers in the world. Pulled off a fantastic outside of the foot pass um, in the uh, in loads of games, actually. It's insane. We've got Luka Modric, Lincoln, Gareth Bale. Um, so this is like, guys, the past and present Spurs of recent years. In the centre mid on the left-hand side, a player which a lot of people, including myself, um, actually, no, I've swapped him. I've swapped him. We're going to go with a brand new card guy, Deli Alice. So we're going to get a run in on him. I know a lot of people are curious on how good he is, and we're going to show it today as well, see how he is. In the left mid, we have got a loan card. It is team of the season, Hyung Min Sun, taking us to two current Spurs players. In the cam position, we've got Ericsson. Now, you guys may have watched the Euros. You may have saw horrible scenes of what was happening to Ericsson. Um, he was playing for Inter at that moment. He left Spurs to join Inter. And then obviously the regulations in, in the Serie A cause him not to be able to play football in the Serie A anymore. And he was given um, another lease of his football in Korea at Brentford. And he is absolutely balling out as well. Um, recently uh, beating, who did he beat at the weekend guys? Brentford, Southampton. It was Southampton they absolutely demolished guys. So the first striker we're going to go with is a hero captains 
and it's going to be Robbie Keane. 92 pace, 93 shooting. I've not used this card yet. Um, so he jumps on into the striker position, looking fantastic, shouting at someone. And he has partnered with none other than Harry Kane, team of the season, which was an SBC as well. So that, my friends, is the team. But I forgot the centre-back, which I'll sort out in a minute. But Harry Kane, Robbie Keane partnered. Human son, Deli Ali, Eriksen, Modric, Bale. Um, no icons used. So that is the, uh, that's the team, guys. Uh, so about that said, we're going to play a game, see what happens. Um... But let's quickly add in the last centre-back. And it is... Uh, where is he? Where is he? I forgot my name. Saul Campbell. Right, guys. Game number one. We're up against... Dave's eleven With Kim Pembe. In August. Right. Spurs team. Unite. Oh, hello, Saul. Um, let's pass around and get a goal, guys. He's pressing start. Is he quitting already? He's quitting. Oh, he's seen Saul Campbell at the back. Oh, human son's through. Oh, and that is 1-0. Win. Win. Right, guys, game number two. Fast and Oh, my God. Right, he has got the new Wilson card. He's got a few other good ones as well. Nice team. We're probably going to take a loss after me doing that stupid celebration. Hello, Sol. Whoa, look at this pressure. Uh oh, Gareth Bale, nice. Bot. Go on, Vertonghen. Go on, Vertonghen. Go on, Vertonghen. Saul Campbell to the rescue. I tell you what, Spurs could have done with Saul Campbell, guys. Uh, ref. Save Lurie. Stood up fine. Holds the ball. Cracking. Oh, Harry Kane with a four star, though. Oh, Harry Kane, that is beautiful. Oh, my days. Wait, no, he's got... Has he got five-star skills or four-star skills? Oh, that Harry Kane could be a brute, you know? Robbie. Bang. Oh, that's a back heel from Harry Kane. He's clinical as well. That's Ericsson. Ericsson with a flare. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Touch, bang. Oh, that is amazing. Who is that? Is that Ericsson with a second goal? I think Ericsson might have scored a second, guys. And there is a rage quit. You know what? I'm going to treat you to one more game, guys. I'm having fun with this attack. Right, guys. Game number three. It's getting a little bit harder now. We're up against Eto. We're up against a brand new uh, SBC card, which costs like 10k. Saka's there as well. And let's see how the Spurs team gets on with the third game of qualifiers. Genuinely, the midfield is nice. Bale. Okay. Oh, that's... Is that Ericsson again, guys? Ericsson's there. <coughs> Ericsson's a standout player. Uh, Keane's, Keane's weird. He's, he's not really doing much. Here he goes, guys. Here he goes. Keane's opening it up. He's turned it. Oh, my days. Oh, guys, he is disgusting. He is disgusting. He is disgusting. Right. We've got our third rage quick, guys. Obviously, the first game didn't count. Bruh. There is some players in this team which I want now. Harry Kane is one of them. This was amazing to play with. Now, obviously, I don't think Keane did much, but we weren't really expecting much anyway. Ericsson was a beast. I love the midfield of Modric, Ali, and Ericsson. Bale was all right as well. But honestly, the stand-up players, guys, Deli Ali was strong, like a hullet style player. Ericsson was clean. Harry Kane, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Defense was all right, guys. Less said about Campbell, the better. But, guys, you can't wipe history. F nearly 300 games for Tottenham. As much as he went on to win loads more trophies, Saul Campbell was a part of your history, as much as you like it or not. And Lloris was a beast when called upon as well. So, guys, feel free to leave a like rating. Subscribe or not. And then this weekend, guys, we've got another past and present coming. You guys probably know which one it is with the FA Cup final upon us. All right. Bye-bye.